Okay, so this is day two. Uh, the tattoo was set yesterday evening. As you can see, there is uh, there's no peeling yet. So what I've done this morning is I've washed it with uh, uh, with lukewarm water and uh, and soap. It's best to take uh, soap that has a pH that's neutral. Uh, so I, uh, pH seven, which is a neutral soap. Um, it's a bit sore, but only like in the in the black triangle because of course that's the place where they've been doing most of the of the work. Um, so after I've washed it this morning, I uh, I rubbed it with uh, some hustle butter. I, I will show you just in a bit how to do it. You can also use Bepantene cream, which you can buy at your local chemist. Or because I only have like a little sack of hustle butter that, that they gave me after they, they, they set the tattoo. And I will use coconut oil, which is very effective. Uh, look it up on the internet. Um, you can just buy it uh, in the grocery store today or at a bio shop. Um, but it's very, very effective. And uh, it's not so expensive as, as the hustle butter, I guess. I will now, now apply a little bit of the Hustle Butter. Here you can see it. So just, you really don't need a lot of it, especially since mine is a very, very small tattoo. I think this is already enough. So you just rub it in very gently. I start from the center because obviously there's most of the tattoo. And you can already feel immediately that it really eases your skin. Okay, so tonight I'm gonna sport. Like some say you can do it immediately after they set the tattoo. But uh, the guy told me like, since it's a very small tattoo and since it's on your arm, I think you can do it. Um, but I will wrap it in Dermalize. It's a, some kind of protective skin um, that I also bought and that they use to wrap your tattoo sometimes immediately just after you've uh, you've had it set on your arm. Um, so this makes your skin breathe, but uh, it's water resistant. Okay guys, so this is the Dermalize Exo Skin Layer that I'm gonna apply because I'm going to play soccer tonight. It protects the skin, it's, uh, it's breathable, but it's still water resistant. So before uh, applying it, it's you have to wash the tattoo really good. Use a neutral soap. Just rub it, uh, wash it with lukewarm water. It's also best to wash your hands before you wash the tattoo. When you're done washing, you dry it with some uh, with a paper towel. Don't use regular towel because it's full of bacteria. Also, don't rub it. Okay, and so when it's really dry, we can apply the Dermalize film. So now we will apply the Dermalize Extra Skin Layer. So to start, you have to fold it in half alongside with the arrows. Okay, then you turn it around and you remove the little, the smallest part of it. and you attach it to the skin also the person who is doing it if you can do it yourself depends on where your tattoo is set because it's on my arm I cannot do it myself should really wash his or her hands before applying it okay so then you pull the rest the remaining of the of the paper uh, towards you and you just gently rub the extra skin layer on your tattoo if you have a large tattoo, you can just do m multiple layers. Uh, they can even overlap a little bit. When it's done, because you have folded in the beginning the film, you can now pull the upper side away from the middle, so alongside the arrows. Okay, that's one half, that's the other half. And there it is, good to go, you don't even see it. 
So the dermalized skin is also something that normally you can apply immediately when the tattoo is set and leave it there for the first 24 hours. So yesterday I went to play soccer with the dermalized extra skin layer. Immediately after practice I removed the dermalized wrapper and washed the tattoo really well. Today it's day 3 or 2 days after the tattoo was set and it still looks great but you can see that the skin around the tattoo starts to look like a little bit reddish here you can see it alongside the lines no peeling of the skin however but it starts to hurt a little more uh, it feels like a burn injury like when you touch the oven <laughs> with your hand or something when you take something out or like when you're too long in the sun and you get the sensation that your skin is is pooling uh, pooling a bit so uh, i will apply the hustle butter regularly to ease and protect the skin um, when it's finished, uh, I think I'm going to use the coconut oil uh, that I just got in the, in the shop. So this is day four now. The tattoo still looks really good. It's no peeling yet, but it, uh, it hurts a little bit. It's very sore, like a, a burning uh, injury still. Especially in the morning when your skin is, is dried out, it, it, it pools and it's not a very good feeling. But uh, keep your skin moist at all times. Just rub it with whatever ointment that you use and uh, then the skin will be flexible and normally it, it should be better. It should, it should feel better. Okay, so today we were at day five and you see it's really red. The skin around the tattoo and you see very much the scabs that are on the tattoo. It's all, it feels also very dry. So what you want is keep your skin very, very moist at all times. And I hope the scabs will peel off quickly because it really doesn't look nice. I will also show you quickly the coconut oil. So this is it. Uh, you can apply it on your skin. It even says on the, on the box, you probably can't read in Dutch or French, but it says that you can use it to cook, to walk, uh, but also use it to massage, to put it in your bath or put it on your skin. Hi, so this is day six already. As you can see, the skin around the tattoo is a little bit red. It's some kind of inflammation. It's a natural reaction of your body because it's fighting the ink that uh, has entered it. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of scab forming. It feels very dry. It hurts, but less than yesterday. So uh, keep washing it every day uh, and I hope that it will start peeling off very soon. Okay guys, so this is day seven. The center of the tattoo, the skin around is a little bit red still, but it doesn't hurt as much as it used to. I've let it dry so I can really show you what it looks like, the scab forming. On some places the scabs have already let go, uh, especially on the lines. Most of the scabs uh, have gone there. So I think it's going to be another two, three, four days maybe, and then it will uh, it will be ready. Hi there, day eight. The scabs are mostly gone on the lines. The skin around the center part is less red, but as you can see, there's a lot of scab forming now. I kept it dry just to show you. I don't put as much ointment on it as I used to do before. I think I rub it, uh, I put the ointment on four times or five times a day. So the scabs can really come off and then I think the tattoo will have set in. Hi, so it's day nine already. The lines are already scab free. And as you can see, the center of the tattoo, the big triangle, uh, this, the scabs are starting to come off from the sides towards the center. Um, I think it will be gone in two days, max. The, the skin around the triangle is also less red and it hurts no more. Hi guys, so this is day 10. As you can see, the last cap is peeling off. And when it has, it will be all finished. I will upload some photos just to show you the final result.